Many of us have cut back the past few years in regard to holiday spending. Times have been tight and for many families, the future has been somewhat uncertain in terms of jobs and the economy. This year, though, we seem to be a bit more optimistic. The forecast for this holiday season appears to be a good one. And with us today to talk about this whole trend is Madison College and business and marketing instructor May Lachmay. Thanks so much for being with us. My pleasure. We really appreciate you coming in today. So the National Retail Federation has a pretty good outlook for this year. Why is that? Well, we just I think uh, people are ready to spend. They've spent a couple years not spending, and this year they're ready to open their pocketbooks. So is, the economy looks better. Uh, is it that the economy indeed does look better, or people mm -hmm. are just tired of sitting on what they do have? Both, I think. Sales have been up the last couple months. The price of homes is increasing now, and that's per a pretty good indicator. And, of course, the seasonal holiday or the seasonal hiring is coming up, and there's, they're expecting to hire anywhere between 500 and some thousand to 600 some thousand people. I was going to say, what will that mean for the overall economy? You just mentioned jobs. Are there more jobs this year seasonally because of this, and will that lead to longer term employment? The longer term employment is going to depend on how the employee, if whether or not they're, repent, they're dependable and reliable. If they don't show up, they're not going to keep them. But one of the companies kept over 10%, so their hiring this year is going to be 10% less than they did last year because they kept them full time. And what, what happens is when the retail industry goes up and people begin to spend, that affects everybody all the way down to the manufacturer, all the way back. Everybody that's involved in moving products, everybody increases. What will this mean for overall mood, do you think, for the country as we head toward the holidays? I think it's going to improve. I said, made the statement last year, again, people are not tired of holding on to their money. And they've got to spend, and I think uh, with the outlook, it's, a lot of it's going to depend on the election, of course. I was going to say, I've heard <laughs> a lot of people say that they're waiting to spend anything until they well, know the outcome of the election. Some people are, but people still now, with the, with the sales that are going to happen this weekend with the opening of, of the Farm and Fleet uh, Toyland. Gonna, yeah. yeah, we're seeing gonna, a lot of... Oh, yeah. People I, are, it's almost like the Black Friday for Toyland or for toys industry and whether it was waiting until October. People, the advertising is being held off right now be, before the election because it's very expensive. Not only is it very expensive for the retailer to advertise and, and the manufacturer, but there's too many political ads out there and that's affecting whether or not we hear the, the political ad or do we hear the product the holiday ad. spending. Well, I tell you what, you walk into just about any store right now and all of the Halloween stuff is already shoved off to the side on a little clearance shelf and the holiday uh, stuff is out. Well, it's it is. Everywhere. Because in reality, the holiday season, whether it be Halloween, Thanksgiving, starts September 1st for the retailer. All right. Well, they're counting on you out there, folks. <laughs> May, thanks so much for being in. We really appreciate it. And stay with us. Final check on traffic and your forecast next.